Spirit. I don't think this is the lanes that uh, Mineski were expecting. The Darkseer is going to be very happy. He gets a one-on-one -on -one against Slaughter. That's like a dream lane. I mean, they, have to, they have to adjust to help out Cuckoo in this bottom yeah, lane. Yeah, well, mid lane, we're going to see a charging from Jesse Vash. He was looking to try and get the block off, but in fact, with the Arctic burn slow, he's move, looking to move in, and they'll get themselves first blood there. Raging Potato. At the same time, OG did get the kill bottom, but just not quick enough to get the first blood. I don't know if the Darkseer is the right choice. Maybe you put the Wyvern up there and you play Darkseer Spirit Breaker bottom, but they can't beat the Gyro either. That's why this was a really good pick out from OG. I mean, Moon's just running down. Cookie says, level one member spirit. Yes, please, they'll try for some of that. Cookie's been surged up. Moon's trying to find his way around and I think they he should be able to get this second. The shell might be enough to force him off. There's a charge coming in and maybe Moon's built up a bit more than he can chew. They'll actually get the steering change. This will help out Cuckoo a lot if he gets involved in that and they will. They do get the kill on Moon. They're able to punish his greed there as he was kind of actually is on the level. Breaker tried for a charge, but there was a leaner there, so Crit cancels the charge for telekinesis. Raging potato moving in onto Miracle. Miracle's got the bold charges. Five mana short for Laguna. Nice. Oh meanwhile, okay, top lane. There was a revenge kill as he got the kill on Everspray as well at the bottom lane. Have support. I don't think OG are aware of what they're getting themselves into here. Uh, and here we go. Brains have on to Kuku. He's got to get himself back. back. He ends up going down. Fly gets the kill there with the last right click. And OG are going to be all right. No tail salving up. There's still a charge coming in across the map. Right on. Now, this is not going to be a nice thing from sticking. Moves level 7. Moves him with the crush. Look at this physical damage. Half of his health gone. He needs one bash. Is he going to be able to find it? In fact, he might not even need a bash here. Moves just going to move in. One more slap to the back will do. And he gets the kill on the Ember Spirit. No help there for Cuckoo as he goes down, and, and this time we're seeing him not having a good time up top. The charge was coming through, but Jesse Vash might need to be careful. Bane is there if they can look for a setup. In fact, he's just going to stand there, take a crush to the face as Moon moves in. The brains start bringing him down low, and they'll get themselves another kill up top. Mineski just feeding OG here on the top lane. Rubik's picking it out, at least. And they want to rather go for Raging Potato. You already said how oh, he's doing the best this time. There we go. Cool down from the tree line into the telekinesis. They move forward. They'll get themselves the kill. Moon was there as well as we talked about him, setting himself up in the mid lane. And another back hard. It's just going to be a question of how it kicks off. In fact, they're also being joined by Big oh. Daddy. This could be a bad part from the Nesty straight away. On to Raging. The corner place has come out, but with the Fiend Scrim. Horny Cuckoo in the cool down. Coming on to the three. They're taken down two, and now they're going to move in for more. They should be up to final three as Moon chases in. Gets the crush on the Wyvern. Three kills for OG. And Mineski did... No, it's, it's really that simple. Who are they going to go for? If they find Potato, that's the one that they're going to want. And there we go, straight in with the crush. Amplifies down as well. Call down from Big Daddy, but he's already dead. The Lena. Now they're trying to move with Jules as well. Miracle coming forward. He'll hunting burn here up to the high ground, Jules. Trying to juke this out, but Moon's already there with the wraparound. Gets the crush onto the wide and They'll bring down Jules as well. Two more kills for OG. Now push down the middle tower in a game that's 14 minutes young. Who had the overall first pick in this game? Good question, Sin. You're the analyst. To try and find Cuckoo. There is some backup from an SB straight away. The telekinesis there. She went to curse on to fly, locking him in place. They might be able to find the bane. He'll drop out of brain sap. Nightmare himself. Try and walk this off. Looking to get out with the charges. Right with the crush. Oh, fly! He's gonna live. Moon saves him with the crush. Holding with his back. Finally, the charge comes through. Jesse will finish off fly, but they lose Cuckoo. And they're probably gonna lose Jesse as well. As OG move in. Amplifies down. Look at these right clicks from Miracle. Looks like Beast back on the menu, boys, as the cow goes down. Two more kills for OG. And again, it's a bit of reminiscent of kind of game two yesterday in the Mineski had against Secret, just being outclassed by their opponents. And well, add chicken to the menu now. As Jules, the frozen bird will fall. 14 for three, 16 minutes in. Made very, very few mistakes. They're assessing their strengths very well. I mean, oh, I mean literally just crushing the opponents here, dominating for Miracle. Mineski looks completely. Makes for a very, true. very one sided game. Rather DP, he's got the remnant back, but Moon, he's ready with it. He's there with the anticipation, hiding in the trees. New Wade remnant two, and they'll bring down the Ember Spirit. Once again, OG just one step, not just one step ahead. To say the least. Could be better. Miracle. Just gonna walk in, sees Lena, gives her a punch. Lena and another. Up. And. Oh, hello, Miracle. I mean that that this oh, okay Mansa Star he's cool he's got the mech and he just walks it off there is another strike there Miracle he does of course still have the Aegis it might not even be pop Moon kills the Darks here they're moving forward for more Miracle doesn't lose the Aegis he just walks back in here with the haste rune there's your crush there's your kill Miracle now in a mega kill streak Raging Potato 
And Cuckoo up there on the top lane. Here we go. OG's in love with the Cuckoo and they'll take him down again. They get themselves another one onto the Ember Spirit. Now he's part of the Wyvern. This is a free kill. Bye bye. And the Australian. And Raging Potato will turn around, get the life for the Rick and Shadow. Not a free kill. Down, <laughs> and then get the Laguna onto Moon. Moon's gonna fall. Change onto both Fly and Crit. They drop the wall here as well. Miracle, he's just waltzing around trying to clean up. They hold back Kuka with the telekinesis. Crit with the stolen flame guard. Will keep himself alive, but Kuka still finds the kill. It's a 2 for 1 at the moment for Mineski. This is potentially it. Life strikes to get with though. They've got the charge. Fiend's Crit coming from Fly. Over the wall onto Raging Potato. Double kill for Miracle. They just can't kill this Shadow Fiend at the moment. And now they've got to run. Ryo gets taken down by No Tail there. With the gyrocopter, and even though that was pretty much the best fight, the minute ends, it might be one game. And OG, they're going to be able to get themselves Roshan once again. Miracle seeming to be the man who just consistently has double damage rooms on this shadow field. There we go, OG, turn up the wave at the same time. Mineski doing what they can to hold back this push, and up the high ground they go. OG, Cuckoo can even change onto Miracle as you call down from No Tail to create the space to move forward. Moon jumps in. Hotel continuing to just push onto the tier 3, out to the 4 to Kefrication. Jesse with a charge, he's gonna hold it back here. And it's like the Nightmare from Fly Country. They just back him on wall onto 2, catching Miracle and Moon. Raging throws down the light stripe, but Hotel's just doing so much damage at this point. He's taken down one, there'll be a buyback on the Lena. Moon looking for the crush, will get it on the Spirit Breaker. Homing missile on Cuckoo. Miracle looking for the Requiem from the sidelines, bringing Jesse down. There's 2 down at the moment, double kill for Hotel. Trying to do what he can with the slide, but Cuckoo just doesn't have the damage. They'll lose the Ember Spirit as well. There's a buyback on Jesse, a buyback on Ember Spirit. They're Looking to try and turn OG up fairly low at this point. Maybe they can try and find something. They get the chains onto Moon. Is it going to be enough to tick him down? Not quite. <laughs> Moon lives on 15 HP and they're out. They're out. OG, they're happy with what they've achieved. They force out the buybacks and uh, that's actually going to be it. Mineski cool GG and OG will take game one. And what a performance since Mineski have got to do something entirely different game two, sure. They need a different first drafting phase, I think. This was not the opening that they should be looking for against OG. They gave them way too much laning power. Mm -hmm. They gave them all their comfort heroes, as the panel mentioned. And it's not that I don't think Mineski are comfortable with the picks they have. It, it just, uh, it just didn't. <sighs> Absolutely, and just the, the whole entire performance of OG. No one had a bad game there. And well, we'll head over to the panel to see what they have to say about game one between Mineski and OG.